Today we're in studio with the legendary Jonina. I f- figure I have to call you Brad Jonina. Uh, you've been in the business for as long as I can remember. I figure you started off this whole love movement, music, the romantic stuff that's out at the moment. Uh, just a brief history of where you started, you know, because we have some younger listeners who might yes. not know who Brad Jonina is. <laughs> okay, uh, my stage name is Jonina, but my real name is Makosi Niklaba. Um, I was born in a family of musicians. My father had his own band. My mother was a backing vocalist. So you can imagine it was all in the veins, you know. Um, They started traveling with me at the age of uh, four, I think. And since ever then, I was learning how to play instruments. And uh, at the age of of 12, I, I, I picked up the drums and I think by the age of 14 I was mastering both drums, the vocals and, and the piano. And believe it or not, my first uh, uh, release was in 1989 when there were still LPs, <laughs> just before the cassettes. And um, I think it was, it, it was amazing because at the time the industry had a music called bubblegum and disco and funk. And uh, when I came in, it was a different style that I, 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 I tried, which at the time didn't really work. But I kept on and kept on going and going, changing names from King Rap when I was rapping at the time to Salimaya when I was inspired by Salif Keita, um, to Hot Slot Machine when I was inspired by Mi Tempo. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I, I think in uh, 19... 92 it's when i had a smash uh the first first smash which was uh called boss of the road as part of the la beat uh, which was a compilation and um 1993 i released uh amavava namadzeve which included a song called ding dong and that was a 
big one and it, it blew my mind away and I, I at, at the time I was studying I wanted to be a doctor uh, with those mathematics and those physics <laughs> but then I realized later that no actually I would rather count the bars instead of the medicines <laughs> and the tablets <laughs> so here am I Joe Nina to date how many albums have you released thus far from the start of your career till today uh, the album I just released now, which is called Time to Time, is my 27th album. Um, uh, besides the ones I've produced for other artists like uh, for, for Brenda Fasigio, Zegio Valwa, um, Patricia Majalisa, Prahu, uh, Pratsepo uh, Tsula, Ray Piri. Uh, besides that, my own albums as Joe Nina, they are 27 to date. Now, I'm pretty sure when you get to listen to proudly South African music today, it has changed quite a lot in the last couple of years. Um, and I figure somehow we also have to thank you for what we're seeing today. Who's your favorite local artist today? Yay. <laughs> um, okay, the, I've got a few. Uh, uh, in, in, in the, in the so-called up-tempo genre, which is quite or whatever they call it today, uh, Professor, uh, mainly because I mentored him to date. Wow. Yes, uh, from his beginning uh, till Moti Chonjimali and uh, till today. Like, uh, he's also featuring in this album on one of the tracks. So I, I think he's persistent. He's, he's always out there trying something unique, you know, as much as it's still the commercial music, but it's got something with it that uh, you can still listen to a few years down the line. And um, the second one is, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Naima K. Yes. I think she's got a beautiful voice. Oh, artist. And <laughs> it's gonna sound like I'm, I'm just selling myself here. But the fact is that uh, the, the current album that she's got, I got to produce two of her songs and mix some of them. And that's when I got to realize the range of her voice and her commitment to, because what I like the most about musicians, if there's any that I would like, is someone who's committed to what they do, someone who loves sounding like themselves, being unique. Because when, when people start copying each other, then the music becomes monotonous, which is what I'm hearing mostly today everything is so monotonous it sounds the same the same bang bang you wrong button bang 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 I was yeah. I was reading a Quincy Jones article and I don't really want to mention all, all the horrible things he said in it but it was kind of interesting to to give his interpretation of music today and one thing I did pick up in that interview is he said that there's the I think the art of being a musician is kind of lost yes. with technology. Absolutely. Uh, back in the day, guys wrote a song from scratch. Today, you just program it. Yes. And he says there's a difference between the old way of doing things and the current way of doing things. Do you think the quality of music is, has lost its uh, form? You know, uh, when 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 because I also started from the, the the reel to reel. You know, those tapes when we record a song live with a band and one mistake, you gotta start all over again until you get it right. And I think that time. The sound was analog and it was beautiful and warm. As it changed from MC500 to computers today, I, I think we, we lost a lot of, 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 of the quality of the sound itself. It's now very digital, very tiny. And, and what's worse about it is that uh, people get to Google and just download a bit and put it on their computer and just rap over it and that's a song um, i mean that on its own like i said it's the, that's the reason why things are starting to be monotonous you know music it's sounding the same um you check out the messages you're not sure what they're talking about but and everyone is a is, is a celebrity now <laughs> and and everyone has got a label <laughs> and, and everyone has got the video and instagrams and facebook's i'm the one i've got millions and uh, as as much as it's all cool and it's what is it called there's a word for it that if something that is viral <laughs> <laughs> that viral sounds like a virus, but in any case, I I, I think there's a lost. I mean, there's a lot that is lost uh, because of that, and it's never too late. I, I think if musicians can commit themselves and start learning instruments and 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 really find the reason why you become an artist, because it's not about just being famous. It's not about being known and getting uh, favors from people because they know who you are. It's 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 about committing yourself and. And if you are talented, it's about embracing the talent, because it's God-given talent. And, and, and music is craft, man. It's, it's got to be nice and proper. Well, one thing I do know, commitment, 27 albums later, unbelievable. Um, 
I think talent, you've got talent beyond talent. Thank you. Um, and I figure we really want to you know, find out more about the new album, which is out right now. And I figure you're going to give us another great performance. Sure. And after that, we want to talk about more of the new album and uh, why people should get the new album. I'm Absolutely. sure there's a beautiful, there's a hundred different reasons why they should, but <laughs> I want your reason why they should get it. Cool, cool. No, no, I'll be more than happy to do so. Okay, sure. one of my all-time favorite songs you just performed just now and I think anybody that understands Jonina or knows of Jonina that is a signature song with Jonina thank you very much my bro thank you now the album is called time to time or time and time time to time time to time time to time please yes. give us more information about the album um, it has taken me at least two years to put it together um, um, and I think the reason why is because I I think I've grown and I wanted that to be felt by my listeners, my fans and people that love me in general and love my craft. And it took it, it was hectic. It was not easy because I, I had to introduce new elements somewhere which is something fresh and always going back and say what if people but I, I then eventually thought I'm going to give them my best and I hope they'll love it, you know. And um 
I got some young artist uh, featured on it for, to get some fresh blood, you know, fresh fresh blood because it can rejuvenate one. <laughs> and um, the first track on the album is called um, "Let It Rain." Uh, oh no, I hope it rains down. Actually, it's called "I Hope It Rains Down." It's a duet between myself and uh, uh, the legendary Ray Perry. Wow. Yes, uh, who was my business partner in, 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 in years back uh, when we started Killer Joe Records. And uh, it was said for me that I, 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 after we did the track and sooner than before we even released the album itself, then he passed on. So it was like, ouch, you know, it was a, a, a serious one under the belt, you know, and it was painful. And at the same time, I think he rested because he was very ill. You know, and uh, uh, may soul rest in peace. But one thing I want to always carry on and, and say to the people is that let's not forget our legends. You know, um, and and let's stop this thing of 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 only celebrating them when they're late. You know, when when one is late, uh, the whole week it's poof poof same song poof poof same. I mean, the album is the twenty albums. You can see there's no research done. <laughs> you you know what's sad is that a whole generation of South African artists who lay the foundation for today are slowly but surely going to the pearly gates of heaven. And, you know, one thing that we, we we tend to forget, as you just said right now, we only get to remember them of the week of their passing. Absolutely. And they've had such a, such a long history of great albums. And Paul, that's very sad, you see. Uh, because, uh, for instance, uh, Praston Pimav, if you remember Praston Pimav, I also produced his album, Unom Ganga, Undi Bizel Unom Ganga. He was a beautiful, beautiful singer and a beautiful writer. But if you ask people today, they've probably forgotten about him. Um, another thing that I want to edge some of the people out there, especially those who does movies and things like that, Please help us archive our history. Help us archive our our music, uh, where we come from to be where it is today. You know, because I think the reason why it is what it is today is because people don't know where it comes from. Um, I'll I'll probably say I I I pioneered quite a music. I I created literally quite a music, and everyone followed. And the reason why I jumped out of the boat at the time is because it started doing the same thing. It started sounding monotonous. Everyone chopping the other song, sounding the same. One artist sounds like the other. For me, it was boring. <laughs> uh, <coughs> be that as as, as it may. Um, back to the album is is is. I think it's very unique. There is one quite a song on the album. Like I said, I featured Professor and 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 Emza, which is very nice and and and, and Bongo Riot. And then I've also featured uh, Prastif Kekana. Wow, my legend. That is a legend of note. Yes, yes. Prastif Kekana is also featured on the album. Um, I also featured a a track uh, where, believe it or not, Pratsepo Tsula himself, the legendary was just doing backing vocals in one of the tracks. <laughs> and then I, I got some young, fresh talent. Uh, her name is Khao uh, Khelo. Uh, she's from all the way uh, in, in Limpompo. Beautiful voice, very fresh, unique, untapped, and I'm hoping to do her album soon. And uh, I also featured Andile from Kumbule Kaya. You oh, know? Yes, yes. <laughs> I know that people know Abu <laughs> Tio <laughs> uh, There's quite a lot in the album. You know, I, I, I think I gave it my all like I, will, like I would always do when I go into the studio. One thing that I do pick up with the album is that it's a mixture of, uh, of different talents. And the mere fact that you took two years to actually produce the album kind of illustrates that you took your time and you really put it you put all your all in it absolutely and i figure when the album comes a lot of people are going to get to feel the the essence of what music was before absolutely coming back to be a revival now and 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 you know i like or, uh, orthodox <laughs> <laughs> i like things that are different from most of the thing and and believe it or not i as much as now people have their own labels and i also have the label mm. i decided i'm gonna give this one to Gallo. let them promote it let them market it let mm. them work for it let mm. let them enjoy it let them earn the money out of it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they must work hard and I was, i'm saying this because uh, i can see that they're trying their best as well and also i needed to take it off my shoulders because uh, marketing your own product it's hectic it's expensive uh, doing the video uh, 
going out there and knocking at doors and sometimes speaking to compilers. Yo, 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 that one. <laughs> <laughs> you just find that that son is young and hip. This guy will listen to this. Hey, son, old school. <laughs> but um, it's a pity now that uh, in our un- industry, things have shifted so much. You know, um, musicians are not that much celebrated anymore. You celebrate the DJs, you celebrate the compilers, the producers. Musicians are just be doing you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one thing that we also starting to pick up slowly but surely is that the 90s R&B like, I'm going to have to give reference to the people in the states the 90s R&B the baby faces the Tony Braxtons the, the Keith Sweats the uh, the Johnny Gills of this world slowly but surely they are starting to come back into the industry Absolutely. and I think there's more of a need now for them to come back because of the the authenticness that they bring back into music Absolutely. which you don't have at this current moment Absolutely. I wish I'd listened to that interview by uh, Quincy Jones Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things you would say probably like I would say it <laughs> is that uh, you cannot keep a good man down one two you can never keep good music away you know uh, one way or the other the ear will yearn for good sound soulful music to feed the heart and, and listen to something fresh uh, I was telling some of the young brothers that I was recording they teaching me how to produce hip hop by the way <laughs> 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 which is yeah, yeah and it, it bangs the, the, the bass drum is like yeah. I'm like, yo, okay, fuck, we'll just put some uh, <laughs> headphones here. But in any case, uh, good music will always survive and it will always come back. It's it's just a pity that uh, whoever that d- decides what music plays now, it's people that are just doing it for friends, for who they know. They don't consider the, the greatness of music itself as it is. But... Um, I've said it before, it goes around. I mean, there was bubblegum, then there was quiet, and then there was mid-tempo, then there was house. Now it's hip-hop. It's going to go away. You know, it's going to go back to real music eventually, <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> uh, the revolution has spoken. <laughs> I can say that. Jonina, thank you so much for coming through to the studio. It's always a pleasure having a, a person of your caliber. You know, And the nice thing is that when we when we talk to a person like yourself you give us a history of music that i have actually forgotten and i figure this is a learning lesson for me to remember that music started somewhere absolutely and since i've been given opportunity of being in radio i need to go back to the basics absolutely i'm happy you got that one (laughs) (laughs) thank you so much for having me and thank you so much to the listeners out there uh my cd is called time to time believe it or not that's one thing i give it to galo shame poor people poor people that galo (laughs) i give it to them they got my cd to be in all musicals as we speak so if you go to musical you will get the new cd and tell me what you think amen thank Thank you you very much. much much appreciated